David from Romans chapter 5, verse 19. Romans chapter 5, verse 19. Romans chapter 5, verse 19. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Today I want to talk from the subject improving influence. Improving influence. Improving influence. People are affected as well as being affected by other people. Mm -hmm. No man is an island. Nobody is all but to themselves. Everybody is affected by somebody else. Yeah, yeah. And everybody is affected by somebody else. Mm -hmm. It appears to be then that we should be cognizant of take notice as to how are we influencing those we come in contact with. I won't start there, I won't keep it long with that. It's not that complicated. Mm -hmm. I won't start talking about a contagious companionship. Mm -hmm. Contagious companionship. Okay. Contagious companionship. In this age of the coronavirus, everybody's concerned about contagion. Catching stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, this this matter of catching stuff is not just isolated to COVID-19. This idea of contagion is really brought about by our interaction one with another. Yeah, right. No man lives unto himself. Yeah. If I am exerting upon those who touch me forces that will either make or mar the human race. In other words, the people I touch, the people I come in contact with, will either be made better or worse yeah. because of our interrelationship. I love this because see when I say touch, it doesn't necessarily mean physically touching. We've gotten so sophisticated now, we can touch electronically. Yeah, right? yeah. So that I can touch somebody way in China. All right. Over the internet. Right. And I can have some influence as to uh, how their lives will be affected yeah, yeah. one way or another. Yeah. Amen. We talked about the heredity aspect of this scripture. We talked about the environment aspect of the scripture. But, but now I want to deal with this, this matter of the first Adam and the second Adam as they relate to their environment. Their effectiveness, I should say, on one another. Mm -hmm. That Adam passes down the sin uh, virus because he communicates sin. Quiet, right? yes, uh, Eve was contacted. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Eve affected Adam. Yeah. 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 Adam affected those after him. Eve was affected first. God didn't call Eve. He huh. called Adam. Huh. Huh. Because Adam was the one who we held accountable for his action. Yes, sir. I wish I had a witness. Yeah. So that you have the first Adam affecting mankind, but then you also have the second Adam also affecting mankind. I don't have a 
choice uh, in, in receiving or being infected by that which the first Adam gives me. But I choose as to whether or not I'm going to avail myself yeah. of the privileges afforded me by the second Adam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm born in sin. Yeah. yeah. But I don't have to stay that way. Because the second Adam gives me a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't have to cry in my suit yeah. because of my condition, because I'm in the condition I'm in because of my choice. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. My influence is determined by my life. Yeah. I will affect people according to the way I live. The way we live, move, and have our being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. We'll either draw people closer to God or drive people into a deeper darkness. It's not so much my talk as my walk. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Let me go to my next point then. Y'all could look like I <laughs> I lose you I don't hurt you <laughs> Not only do I see this contagious companionship yeah. very closely tied to contagious Christianity, I see a character and a contradicting Christ. A character and a contradicting Christ. I, yeah. I'm not saying that Christ contradicts himself. I'm saying that it's a matter of our character and sometimes our character contradicts our Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you see, I'm only able to exert influence as it relates to my true self. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying it again. I'm only able to exert the influence of my true self. Yeah, it got real quiet. I'm gonna get quiet in that blanket too. <laughs> uh, see. Sometimes we appear to be one thing right. yeah. when in actuality we are something else. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I learned a long time ago everybody you see at church, right. mm -hmm. holy, right. unstained, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the way they really are. Say it. Everybody who you see politically, politically correct and always saying the right thing and always yeah, yeah, pushing yeah. the right buttons. Yeah. Always conducting themselves the way a Christian ought to. That's not the way they actually are. Y'all better hear me today. And you see, you can you can fool man. You can fool folks, but the problem is you cannot fool. God. Right. Right. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Yeah. 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 You see, the way I really am is, is, is not determined by what I say. The way I really am is not determined by what I wear. The way I really am is determined by who I am yeah. on the inside. Yeah. 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 My reputation is what people think about me. Right. But my character is who I really am. Yeah. Right. My character is who I am when I look in the mirror. My yeah. character is who I am when, when all of the skeletons are exposed. My right. character is who I am when I recognize all of my past faults uh, and failures. That, that, that who I am is not who I project. It's who I am. Uh, yeah. I, I was wondering, who are we now? We say we trust in God. If I was a little girl, or if I was a little boy, I would have to ask myself, uh, do we really trust in God? Hmm. I wish I had a witness. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We trust in God. And because we trust in God, we want to be safe. I've I never had so many folk to tell me, be safe. <laughs> Brother Clinton, I'm saying, what do they mean by be safe? 
See, when they say be safe, that's a cold word. Keep your money on. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had a witness here. Because we've allowed ourselves to translate being safe to staying at home. Right. Right. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's not a biblical term. I, I don't see where in the Bible you stay at home and you say it. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't see really anywhere where staying at home makes you safe. I, I know some people would stay at home instead of going out on Saturday night because they didn't want to get shot in the club. But a lot of Christians stayed at home and a car ran in their house in the living room and killed them dead. So that they, they were at home, but they weren't safe. I wish I had a witness in my, my being safe, I said, well, you're safe if you carry some protection. I, I, I believe in having guns. I'm a gun owner. But I don't have guns, Brother Washington, to be safe. Right. They'll come in and take your gun and shoot you. <laughs> come on here, somebody, with your gun. So that doesn't mean having a weapon makes me safe. Right. Right. That either you're going to live by the sword or die by the sword, are you going to trust in the Lord and let the Lord make a way? I wish I had a good decision. I decided years ago that I will trust God to take care of me. Which I have been be safe. So what you're really saying is, I'm going to stay at home to be safe. I wonder what a child thinks about that. When he looks at his mom and dad, they, they scared to go to church because they want to be safe. Now don't stop from going to Walmart. Right. I, 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 they can go to Walmart. It's no problem to go to Walmart. I can go to Walmart, spend some money. I can go to Walmart, stand in line, be all up next to somebody. They say we're going to stay six feet apart. They got their arrows. But people going in the wrong direction with the arrows. It's all right to go to Walmart and be safe, but don't go to church. Because if you go to church, you're not being safe. And you stay safe by staying at home. The great, the great, the great, the great example today is a man had 200 people come to his church. One man at that church had coronavirus and infected 180 people. Question, how do you know those 183 people didn't have corona before they went to church? Did you test them before they walked in the room? Number two, who tested them when they came out? How do you know it's 180? How did they catch, how do you know they didn't catch it at the house before they went to church? How do you know they didn't catch it when they were shopping over at Target? Why, why it had to be the church? Why are you so intelligent to stay away from church? But you go everywhere else, but you still trust in the Lord. I believe in science. I told y'all stop lying on science, because science ain't got nothing to do with this. This is what propaganda wants to promote. Now you notice, people don't have a job. They're trying to get out, trying to go to work. But now, brother, when they want them to go to work, the governor made sure y'all got free when he found out gas was messed up in the prices. So y'all need to burn some gas so he can get his money on his investments. Promote that agenda. It's always amazing to 
me how it's the rich who will get richer and the poor keeps getting poor. I don't blame, I, I don't blame the rich folk because we're in the condition we're in because of the choices we make. Do I have a witness here? And Jesus says, well, this matter of character is determined by who you are and what you are and how you live and how you conduct yourself. But living the life, uh, the way God tells us to live the life, is also contagious. See, sin is contagious. Man. I told y'all before, I got some friends I love to death, but I found out years ago I had to stop hanging out with them. Because when I hung out with certain folk, I always end up doing something I had no business doing. Are y'all right now? Yeah, like I'm the only one. And, and I tell myself, bro, bro, Chris, I ain't gonna do that. I know what that rascal gonna try to get me to do. I'm not gonna do none of that. I prayed up. I'm strong. Now, and then when the day is over with, I found out I didn't take as long to start, but I ended up doing it anyhow. Come on here, somebody. So you got to realize some people can 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 infect you with the wrong kind of vibe. as you think they might be. Now some folk the church has labeled, labeled sinners yeah. but they really have a better reputation in the neighborhood. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Isn't it amazing that they always the mission sister that get along with the children in the neighborhood? Right. Sometimes it's the church folk who kicking them out their yard telling them you can't get that ball. Because you got a beer in your hand on your front porch. I don't want to associate with folks that you can. It's amazing how it's the church folk who can always bring this negativism. But when you ask the neighborhood, those are the very people that are doing the most good. Yeah. Those are the folks that see the hungry. Those are the folks that's catering to the young folk. Those are the folks that's pulling the young folk aside and trying to give them life. Right. That, that, yeah. that, that really goes back to that statement I always make. You're going to be surprised when you get to heaven yeah, yeah, yeah. because you're going to see some folk you didn't expect would get there. Yeah. Who's I had a witness here? So that, so that I need to come to grips with, we don't have the last word as relates to who's got it and who don't have it. Yeah, so yeah. I might have a, this, this test and stuff, and again, that's a money thing, is that it's not the not matter you need to test. The problem is, is what happens after you get the test. Right. Yeah. They said, well, I have a test. They got to decide, am I still contagious? Right. Mm. They came out, well, I'm not contagious because I had it, and so I have an antibody that prevents me from getting it, and I can help you not get it or fight what you got if you get some of my blood. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, my brother and sister, that sounds pretty good, uh, but uh, they said we ain't sure, so we can't let y'all out. Because if you got it, you still might be able to get it later on. Huh? Yeah. So basically, you're telling me if I take the test, I can find out whether I got it or not. But I'm still waking up by I can still determine <laughs> that if I, <laughs> if I got it, don't feel bad, you got it, you got it. <laughs> if I, if I, I, I got it, but if I got it, what am I going to do with it after that term I have? And if you don't know what you're going to do with it, why would I take the test in the first place? Go ahead. 